What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your PS5 remotely on your PS Vita. So let's get started. The first thing you guys want to do is you guys are going to download this app called Chiaki. So let's go ahead and do that. This thing is not locking. There we go. So here on the release page, you can download this directly from your PS Vita. If you had the plugin, all you have to do is navigate here. I'm gonna be adding the link down in the description. Uh, you're just gonna press the VPK and it's gonna tell you if you want to download it. You're gonna save it. I downloaded this already, so I'm gonna skip this part. Uh, but if you don't, you can go ahead and download it directly on your PS Vita. Otherwise, you download it on your computer and then you transfer it via USB or FTP, all right? This is gonna be, if you download directly from your PS Vita, this is gonna be installed or it's gonna be saved under a folder called download. And you're gonna find it here. What I did, I moved it to my VPK folder and you see it right here, chiaki.vpk. I renamed it before I, uh, when, once I saved it. So we're gonna install this. Now that it's installed, we can go to our live area And we're going to see it right here. So what you want to do is you're going to open it. You're going to start it. And uh, here uh, you have a few settings. I'm not sure what this is. This is to turn on the Wi-Fi and turn it off. Uh, right here, it's for your PlayStation ID. It's going to display some characters. I will not be showing mine for privacy purposes. Uh, here you're going to have your PS5. So right here is telling me that my PS5 is connected to the same Wi-Fi, right? So you're gonna press X on it, and then you're gonna need to put your registration code. All right, so on your PS5, you're gonna go to your settings. You're going to go down to system and scroll down to remote play. You're gonna put link device. You're gonna get that code. You wanna put that code right here on your registration code. You're gonna press X. The registration code, we have it right there. So we're gonna add that. You're gonna press the uh, enter. Nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna be right there, right? So same code, same code. You're gonna close this, disappear from the back. That means your PS5 is linked. You're gonna press X, it's gonna crash. Uh, the main thing here is still really buggy so the main thing is if you go back to the app right here and it doesn't crash after you enter the registration code you're good to go all we need to do now is press x we're gonna have to retry this a couple times because it's gonna keep on crashing no problem so you gotta retry this a couple times and keep on pressing x so all this is gonna Still really buggy, it's not fully functional yet. It's still a, like a beta version. So that happens, it's normal. So we're gonna retry this a couple times until we get this to work, all right? There we go. And after a couple tries, should be able to connect. You can see. So the PlayStation button does not work like it works on the PS4 remote play. This would actually take you out to the main, to the live area. If you wanna go to the menu on the PS5, you have to press select and start at the same time and then you can change applications, close the game, whatever you need to do. You're gonna be able to do it here.
there is a little bit of uh, lag. The quality is not so great. As you can see, if you get closer, you're gonna see like some pixelation, uh, some like uh, the streaming quality is still not that great, but definitely, definitely a really, really, really big improvement from what we have now, you know, like we can do remote play on the PS Vita with the PS5, something that Sony did not like to allow. So, so this is something really, really cool. I'm excited for the next updates for this. This is this game, you can see. Well, yeah, it works. Try it out, test it out. It's a really cool, really cool feature. Uh, link will be down in the description. So how you can install this, give it a try. Let me know. Still needs a few improvements. How the touch screen does not work. The back buttons do not work. So exci really excited for the next updates coming up for, uh, for this uh, fun project. So let me know what you guys think. Hope this video fight was useful. If you guys uh, found this something useful. Let me know. Please like and comment uh, See you guys next time